to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Naninga Kwe if you don't know me and if you know me, thank you so much for coming back. Um, so today we are going to do a, a, a leopard, yes. Like this top, the top that I've worn basically, we are going to do that kind of eyeshadow. So a leopard print and uh, probably you've been seeing this all over social media, you've been seeing it on TikTok, you've been seeing it on um, Instagram been seeing it probably on various social media platforms and you've been wondering how it's done so today i'm going to show you exactly how it's done and it's not hard it's very easy part so let's just get into the video so the first thing i'm doing is actually concealing my not concealing my eyebrows what am i saying defining my eyebrows making them stand out using uh, the la girl concealer which is in the shade phone Then I'm just going to add some of that concealer under my eyes just to create to like lighten the dark circles that are around my eyes. And for this step, I'm just blending out that concealer using a brush. So that's basically what I'm doing here, just make sure making sure it's nice and even. And now I'm going to prime my eyes using uh, an, the LA Colors, is it LA Galias yes, high, high Definition Primer in the shade white. Then I'm going to go in with this copper shade. And that copper shade, I'm just going to apply it just uh, below my eyebrows, on the tailbone of my eyebrows. On the tail, not the tailbone. Wow. On the tail of my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, that's what, where I'm going to apply the copper eyeshadow and making sure that um, it pops, it highlights that area. And then I'm going to go in with a dark brown eyeshadow by, from the Miss Rose eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to apply it in the crease of my eye, all over my eye. For the dark brown eyeshadow, I'm just going to apply it strictly in the crease of my eye. I'm not going to apply it on my eyelid because on my eyelid I'm going to apply a different shade. And I'm just going to take a, a lighter shade of brown, just a matte brown, and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids. And I'm going to use the same Miss Rose palette. So that is a lighter shade of brown. You know, the, light, the reason I'm applying a lighter shade of brown on my eyelids is so that the, the spots on the leopard can, can be visible. So that's what I'm doing. And now for the major step which is making the spots now these spots don't have to be perfect because a leopard even a leopard is not perfect so all you what you want to do is create round circles of black basically circles that um, look like a donut like they don't have the black inside the circle if you know what I mean so you're just going to apply like uh, dark black circles and also c-shaped um, structures you know just spots basically for as long as they are spots they are good to go uh, because if you really say that you're going to create circled circles like that is almost impossible but it's possible but really tough yeah so just make sure that they are spots and they look somewhat like spots and I'm just using the Maybelline uh, mascara for this not mascara what is happening today I'm just using the Maybelline uh, 
eyeliner to do this and for this part i'm also going in with the uh, in the inner corner of my eye to create those leopard cut eye you know winged eyeliner so i'm extending it like towards my nose as you saw And you're going to roughly get something that looks like this not perfect but close this is close enough eh? so yeah that's basically what i did and now i'm just going to go in with the the rest of the makeup which is basically foundation for this part this is foundation and i'm just using the revlon pecan foundation it's called anti-pollution foundation in the shade pecan this foundation is supposed to be able to filter blue light for those of us who love mobile phones i think this is the perfect foundation for you if it actually does filter the blue light so yeah And I'm just going to use the NYX highlight stick to highlight my under my eyes and also on my nose. And I'm just blending that out. It's now time to set all the makeup so basically i'm just using not the makeup i'm setting the foundation eh? and that uh, concealer that i've just used the contour stick so i'm just using the maybelline fit me setting powder in the shade caramel and i'm just going to apply it all over my face for a flawless finish and also like a matte finish because i don't want to look shiny i tend to have a shiny face so that's what i'm going for by applying this setting powder I'm just going to apply that blush that you're seeing there just a bit on my cheeks I'm just going to take this bronzer shade and I'm going to use it to control my nose So that's just lip balm that I'm applying because I'm going to use um, a gloss and then I'm just going to take this gloss that has coppery glitters in it.
Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel if you do like my content. I normally post videos every Monday and Wednesday. And this is a beauty, fashion and lifestyle channel. So if you're into that kind of thing, just make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!